there, it's Nathalie and I am back. Uh, I'm going to do a little flip through on this. This was a photo album that I bought from uh, Dollar Tree and it had a little butterfly cover on it. Anyway, I put uh, one of my printed papers, it's over in my Etsy store, I printed this off and I cut out the feather and I put what if. <clears throat> so journal your what if and these are done with, the cover is all done with uh, stickers and that was in uh, part four so you can see that I printed off the the sheets uh, onto full sheet sticker paper so these are the bonus papers I've, I've got a few bonus papers that are over on my uh, blog that you can get whenever you uh, get, you can go into my resource library and so I'm just going to do just a few little finishing touches on this to get this ready to go I'm gonna put this in my Etsy store the link is going to be in the description <clears throat> so I am going to glue this part down. This is uh, again. This is one of the freebie papers that I printed, and uh, so what I've done. The little uh, because this was a photo album. Excuse me. <clears throat> Could be a little bit of cat hair in my throat. I'm not sure. Anyway, because this was one of the uh, this was a photo album. Right in this pocket. That's where I slid down the the what if, and then I put a piece of washi tape up there. And then I covered around the edges with uh, some washi tape. So I'm not planning on changing that thing out because I am, again, I'm going to put this in my Etsy store. <clears throat> and I've already inked up my edges. I used all of, I had little multicolor inks that I had gotten from uh, Michael's, let me put just a little bit more glue on there. There was turquoise and pink and purple and lime green. Anyway, so I fixed this so that in a, it, you, there's some places in here where you can add uh, some of your own special touches. Uh, you know, so I left this so that you, if you want to use one of your uh, white pens and write on this, you could do that. I'm going to make a little tuck spot, little pocket here. Just use my tacky glue. I'm not going to take very long because I know y'all are busy. You've got other videos to watch and other things you need to do. And I'm fixing to start a, a upholstering or making cushions, painting and making cushions for a rocking chair. That's going to be my next video. And so that's a project that's in process. And so I'm going to go do that in just as soon as I finish this. So be sure and check that out. So y'all seem to like my uh, upholstery videos. I'm not gonna fill every pocket. There's that one. And uh, let me go ahead and before I do my flip through, let's, I'm gonna put a belly band and uh, so I've already, this is a, uh, again, some of the freebie paper that's over on my blog. You can download that. She's definitely being helpful this morning. Say, so let me just touch it. I just want to touch it. I'm going to touch you. There's that one. And we'll make this a little double belly band. And again, these edges have already been inked up, so these are finished and ready to go in. And I'm thinking, so this again, this is one of the printed papers uh, from the kit, and so it's not the original, uh, not an original. The originals are in here. y'all are busy. Like I said, I know y'all are busy. You've got other stuff to do. So, we've got this pocket that you can tuck in. You can journal on this one. These are the original uh, cardstock papers that I had painted. And then we're, there's a little tag right here. You can journal on the back of that. You can journal in this spot right here. This one, uh, 
has a little script right here, and I can't remember what it was that it says. Let me see if I can see this. With my stencil, it says we put our feelings and experiences onto paper. That's what that one says. So you can journal here with a little white marker, one of those Signo uh, white pens. Uh, there's a little journaling spot right there. Another tuck spot there. You can journal in this space. Uh, the feathers, there's another little tuck spot and a little tag that's blank on the back side. Pocket here. You can add your own stuff there. I don't know what I just did there. There we go. Couple of little spots here. Got some washi tape there. The belly band that we just added, two spots right there. You could put it in. I'm not going to load this up. This is as loaded as it is what it's going to be. A journaling place. Actually, not just journaling, but you could do art on this. You could come back with stencils and stamps and other papers and, you know, collage. And so there's other stuff that you could. That's the reason I've left this uh, not done as, as full as what uh, I would normally do. Okay, and then here's another, just a, a journaling spot right here. I love this with this shimmer that's on this page. A journaling spot and a little tuck spot right in there. And then the... Okay, the idea for the washi tape did not on this spine did not work out well because it was too stiff, it was too plasticky. So I just came back and took some of my extra printed papers and uh, did, just cut a little strip Put some, just use my glue stick. So, uh, did the same on the front and the back, and I just made sure I had plenty of glue in this little ditch so that whenever the, the cover folds up into its place, it's not like all cranky and everything. It does like it's supposed to do. So, the other thing I want to do, I found uh, here's my little number tape. I put some of the little dotted washi tape on the back. I kind of like that. And uh, so, I'm going to, I've pull back out my uh, number tape and I'm going to do a, a number on the top of this because it's in the on the inside someplace. It doesn't mean that you have to do that but I'm going to. I'm going to lay it across the spine and I think just come over to the front a little bit and that's kind of crooked so let me straighten it out. Does it need to be straight? Not particularly but I think I want it straight. All right. So let me let me go from this side first. Put it like right about there. Okay. So thank you so much for watching, Kitty and I. Uh, Kitty, Noah and I appreciate your love, your support, your comments, your sweet comments, and suggestions. And uh, so uh, be sure you subscribe. Give me a little thumbs up. Be sure and watch for my next video, which is going to be um, where I. Uh, recover, repaint and recover uh, an heirloom uh, rocking chair. So, uh, and this is going to be in my Etsy store. So if you want to hop over there, the link is in the description below and grab that. Uh, thank you again for your support and I will see you next time. Bye.